In this section of material, we're going to be talking all about um, linear equations in one variable. And hopefully, um, when we're talking about solving equations, by this point in your math career, you should be pretty good at solving equations. So we're just going to go over this pretty briefly and just remind you basically of some terms, some vocabulary, uh, because that's going to be very, very important. All right, a definition of a linear equation in one variable, it says that this is an equation that has one unknown, only one, and the unknown is written to the first power. So we're not talking about an x squared or anything like that. That would be um, a completely different type of equation. So linear equations in one variable can be written in this form, where we have something times x, plus b equals 0. And it says where a and b are real numbers. So remember what real numbers are. We talked about that in the last section material. And a cannot equal 0. If a were to equal 0, then that's gone. And we have <clears throat> b equals 0, which says a number equals 0. That's a completely different thing. So uh, remember, too, that just a little bit of notation and, and vocabulary, that the word linear comes from the word line. That's where it comes from. So, um, or maybe line comes from the word linear. It depends on how you want to look at it. But uh, keep that in mind as we go through the, our lessons also. Okay, some other um, words and vocabulary that I want to remind you about before we get into it is remember that an equation contains an equal sign. So that would be something like saying 3x plus 5 equals 12. When you see an equal sign, you have an equation. If you, there is not an equal sign, then it is an expression. So an expression would be saying something like um, 7y plus 12z. There is no equals in there at all. Now you do different things depending on whether you have an equation or an expression. So when you see directions, things like solve, that means that you're going to find the solution or the answer to an equation. You can only solve equations. Keep that in mind. And when it says simplify, then you're usually you're doing simplification to just expressions um, because there's nothing to solve. So simplify would be like if we had something like 3x plus 2x and it said to simplify. So we would combine that into its smallest possible form, which would be 5x. When you see the word evaluate, we're going to be working with that quite a bit later on. That is where you literally replace a variable with something else and find the value of an expression. So we're going to do that later on. Let's go ahead and let's do an example here. This first example says determine which of the given numbers are solutions to the equation. Well, if it is a solution, then that means that it should work in the equation. Now, you can either go through and just solve this equation for x and find out what the solution is, or um, remember that if, if you're saying that something is the solution to the problem or the answer, you should be able to go back and plug it back in and it makes sense. So for instance, for this x equals 0, if we were to replace all of the x's in this equation, then we would have, let's see, 3 times 0 is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, we would have 2 equals negative 5. That is not a true statement, so 0 doesn't work. What if we were to plug in the 6? 3 times 6 plus 2 equals 2 times 6 minus 5. I'm just replacing the variable. Then over here we would have 18 plus 2, which is 20. And over here we would have 12 minus 5, uh, which is what, 7? So 20 equals 7. That is not a true statement. So obviously then the 6 doesn't work. Well, let's try the negative 7. 3 times negative 7 plus 2 equals 2 times negative 7 minus 5. So that would be negative 21 plus 2, which is negative 19, equals 2 times negative 7 is negative 14, minus 5 is a negative 19. So yes, that does work. That tells us that x equals negative 7 is a solution 